Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Julie Mann. I'm also known as the Habit Fixer and I love helping women over 50 to enjoy amazing health and well-being and self-confidence. And I do that through EFT, which is a simple tapping technique, nutrition, skincare and digital products. And today I'm really delighted because I'm joined by Nick Rion. And Nick is a personal and professional relationship coach. Now, for me, I think that life is about relationships. It's about good communi communication and about, you know, the the, the um, strength and um, what can I say? What would you say, Nick? What's important <laughs> about a relationship? The strength and probably uh, fulfillment Absolutely. of those relationships. Absolutely. I'm really looking forward to this conversation. So I'm just going to hand straight over to Nick to do his stuff. He's going to be talking about successful relationship habits and who doesn't want that mm, absolutely well thank you thank you very much um so yeah i started from the um the fact that if you if you want like the, the base of it um it's uh, having relationships that make conflicts pain free right that's kind of my mission making conflicts pain free and I figured that there was a way to build relationships and make any conflict easily solvable, right? Those are successful relationships in my view. So um, I've built a, um, a kind of framework of uh, 10, 10 habits of successful relationships. So those are 10 habits that um, you can work on a little bit. Um, you know, you don't have to work uh, on them like one by one in a in a, in a particular order um, but those are the 10 that if you work on you will guaranteed to have um, relationships that are you know fulfilling and and um, and successful um, there are two ingredients that I believe make a successful relationship um, those are mutual respect and trust right so those are the two things that you need in any any relationship and what i always say is um if you if you build a um, like the more trust and the more mutual respect you have in a relationship the the biggest disagreement you can have this is the theory right so um coming back to the 10 habits um i divided those time habit in three groups uh the first group is all about um yourself so in there you have a uh, self-awareness and self-management for example uh so self-awareness as you probably know it's all about um understanding who you are what your uh, feelings are what your values are what your needs human needs are um, and self-management is more about, okay, well, once you know all that, how do you make sure that this doesn't control you, right? So when you have a conversation, a uh, difficult conversation, when, when you have any, any part of a uh, relationship, how do you make sure that this is not controlling you, but you, you are aware of it because it's important. We don't want it to be to, to be um, thrown away, but uh, you want to make sure that it doesn't control you, right? Uh, so that's the first part. The second part is more about the mindset. How do you approach the relationship? How do you arrive in the relationship, right? Um, and those are, there are a few habits in there, a uh, few things that you might want to develop. Uh, those are potentially assertiveness, for example, so making sure that you know your boundaries and and you make them respected um there's a having a learning mindset um so you know how you, you approach a relationship uh, by willing to grow yourself right um vulnerability um how do you make sure that you um you are transparent about you know your what you're trying to to achieve and and how you're feeling basically vulnerability build trust um etc etc right and maybe uh, uh one last one of this group is curiosity um making sure that 
when, you know, when you have a conversation, when you approach um, a difficulty, a challenge in, in your relationship, um, making sure that you come from a, a curious standpoint, that you, you want to understand what the other is feeling, where the other is trying to get um etc etc so being being curious is something that you it's a habit that you may want to develop right and the third group is all about um uh, specific situations so how do you approach a difficult conversation for example right so um how do you challenge um a a relationship to make it uh, more exciting and um, and also more of a um, growth kind of aim aim to grow right so those are kind of the three groups and um, I divided it so it's easier to remember but those um, habits don't need to be uh, worked on all the time not at all time uh, sometimes you may want to work more on the self-awareness. Sometimes you may want to work on your curiosity and your vulnerability, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, and it depends where you are, what you feel like. Um, but those are things that you know you you may want to work on. Um, one last thing: it's um, you don't have to work on uh, all of them all the time because it's tiring and it's self-development. So, you know, at your own pace. Wow. Yeah. Can you give us um, a habit from each of those three sections that you talked about, Nick? Just one that would be really useful for, in, each, in each category. Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, if there was kind of the most important, maybe. Um, so self-awareness in the first group, uh, definitely. Uh, um, self-awareness is, is kind of the base of, of of everything it doesn't mean that if you're not self-aware you can't be curious but um, but it, it helps it helps a lot and self-awareness is is very important in, in anything not only in relationships so that's that would be the first one I think uh, in the second um, I think learning mindset probably um would be the, the most important or uh yeah i'll i'll just say learning mindset um being here to grow and learn from mistakes and and uh celebrating successes right i guess that's um, connected to curiosity isn't it that learning in in a way yes uh curiosity is more about when you have um a situations how uh, when you approach those situations are you curious about how the other one is is feeling and and uh, what the other one is saying or are you trying to just um uh you know bring your point across uh which is two different mindset right and and the last one is probably difficult conversations which is something in in any in any relationship you will have disagreements you need disagreement i would even go as far as to say that you need you need to have those disagreements uh, because they make you grow they make you disagreement is basically pushing the boundaries you know to to grow together um but those are those disagreements to handle them you need to handle them uh, with a um, with a particular technique and making sure that these are, those those are solved, um, and um, and yeah and and properly and with uh, with the right technique because um, disagreements not solved properly can be can you know become conflicts that are hurtful and um and you know make the the relationship unbearable i love that you talked about this because there are a lot of people that i come across who are really terrified of conflict and um and so sometimes their behavior is all about being a people pleaser and saying yes to stuff that actually they really don't want to do and maybe mm. eventually end up being feeling resentful about but that's because they just want to be liked they want to fit in they don't want to rock the boat but actually 
conflict is a normal part of life, isn't it? And it's not about inviting conflict, but it is about, you know, when it happens, it's about who are we going to be um, within the, you know, in the face of conflict. Yeah. And how can um, we resolve it in the best possible way, in the, in, in the kindest and, um, and most nourishing way, hopefully mm-hmm. for both parties, because sometimes obviously the outcome is not going to be what one party wants. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and this is where mutual respect is, is one of primary ingredients, right? Because when you have those type of conversations, um, if you approach it with the goal to preserve a relationship at all costs, then it's not about you anymore. Yeah. It's, it it's about some, the relationship. Yeah. There might be some people watching thinking, what do you mean have respect? I don't have respect. Why should I have respect for that person? But it really is about just um, maybe understanding, not maybe understanding the person, but understanding that people have different points of view, mm. different ways of communicating, and um, and it's all okay. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, that and um, and that your uh, ideas, uh, no matter how much you love them, are not the most important thing in, in the world is understanding that as well right? letting go on 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 that yeah not being attached to your point of view which you know being mm. right is you know what some sometimes we can strive for you know but actually it, it's it's not useful it's not helpful it doesn't make us feel good for really mm. for very long and yeah. um there's yeah. um there's beauty in um in in understanding each other uh, there's more beauty i find there's more beauty in understanding each other understanding what the other person thinks and and what their values are and what they believe in and kind of making it oh yeah they they're more like this i'm i'm more like this and this you know joins in this area but in this area we are we are different there's there's beauty in that there's yeah. a lot of, because then it's not friction. It's it's about understanding each other and about, you know, working together. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Fantastic. And I know, Nick, that you have a giveaway, don't you, which I will post also these 10, these 10 um, habits that you're talking about. Mm-hmm. You, you have that. And I'm going to actually put the link to that um, below in the description underneath this video. And obviously I'll put all the other links um, about you and all yeah. you do and links about me as well so yeah i'll give you the the link it's uh, it's on my website uh you can download the um yeah. the document with all those habits and the description of those habits yeah excellent thank you so much for um talking about these things that i think are really really important for me a great life is having great relationships and um and I think actually life is richer for being curious about other people and, um, you know, about the differences that we have. So thank you so much, Nick, for talking to us. And thank you, everyone else, for watching. Thank you.